love this place so much. <gasps> so nice. Look at like Hong Kong. I just feel like everything is stepped up a notch in Singapore. There's six people here. I had no idea there was a beach here. Hello guys, welcome to a brand new video. You join us in Singapore, the beautiful Singapore airport. Love this place so much. One of the coolest airports in the world, I would say. We have just flown from Kuala Lumpur and we've just landed here. Luggage came out very quickly. Immigration was very smooth. We were the only people in the queue, although they did help us out. Very kind people here. They sent us to a different immigration counter because we got coda. Got our little dude here. Did you, did you sleep the whole flight? Yeah. Yeah, you did, didn't you? Funny landing, there was lots of crosswinds. So we went oh, down yeah. very close to the runway and then went straight back up again and it threw everyone back and everyone was going, ooh. And it was super bumpy, like probably the worst turbulence I've ever had. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> yeah, that was our first time ever experiencing that, coming right down to land and then at the last minute, pulling straight back up. So we kind of had two takeoffs on that plane, which I've um, never experienced in my life. But anyway, very happy to be here in Singapore. We've never been here with Koda, so it's gonna be such an adventure. We've got some cool stuff planned. If you're new around here, please subscribe to the channel. We'll be uploading lots and lots of Singapore vlogs. But right now we need to get in our car. We need to get to the hotel and yeah, adjust, unpack. And then I think we'll still have time. Yeah, 3 p.m. We're gonna have time to get out a little bit and explore the area we're staying, which isn't the typical place that you might usually come to, to begin with in Singapore. It's a place in Singapore we've never been to anyway. So let's go. So first things first, new country, SIM card. We always get a little SIM card, so we've got a bit of internet so we can make our way around. Use Google Maps, use Grab. So for this trip, we are staying with Sofitel and they have kindly invited us to stay for a couple of nights, which is so, so nice. And sorry, I didn't know you were talking. It's all right. I'm not even with it. I'm it's sorry. okay. So it's we're fine. collaborating with Sofitel and they have kindly picked us up from the airport. And because it's raining, the guy was like, you guys wait here. I'm going to go get the car and then we'll get you to the hotel. And also this is on Sentosa Bay, which is a part of Singapore we've never been to. Ever. And funny story about Singapore, we came once years ago, just George and I, for a couple of days, literally on the way, as a stopover on the way to England. We've never actually spent much time here, so we're very excited for this trip to be spending a bit longer. But also we had a flight booked here, and that flight, you may guess, was in 2020, and it was canceled because of COVID. Yes. So, so this trip, we're now we've been waiting for this it. trip for... <laughs> Years, so literally we've, we've years. We've multiplied, and we now have. it's like an extra person on the trip. We have an extra little. Tra da. Yeah, we have an extra little travel buddy with us this time round. He just went on his twenty-second flight. Yeah, but first impressions of this airport, as I said, immigration was very smooth. So smooth. I went to the toilet, very clean, yeah. very everything's very. I don't know. There was Lovely. no queues. It was yeah. beautiful. There's like nice trees and trees lights everywhere. and gold things kind of spinning around. Very, very nice airport. It's nice when your very first impression of a country is when you have a good airport, oh, isn't true, it? Yeah. It's like it sets off the trip very nicely. Gold, gold yeah. Okay, the car's here. Let's go. voice outside and a car that I didn't recognize, I'm a car person, but I didn't recognize this really old car um, and they've got a wedding on here. So it's feeling super luxurious already. I don't know if they're part of the wedding, wedding party, but there's some great dames there. Massive, they're like ponies. This is beautiful, I have to say. We have never ever been here. This is stunning. This is kind of like a, feels like a villa resort or something right now. Like it's all on the water. Wow. Animal. 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 Is it a horse? Good job. Can you take your shoes oh, off? Oh, wow. Can you take your shoes off? Wow. Take your shoes off. Ooh. Oh, the baby comes there. That's good. Yay. How nice is this? So nice. This really 
really doesn't feel like we're in a city right now, does it? No, not at all. It's like we're on, well, we are on an island, I suppose. Yeah, but... like a villa, resort, island yeah. vibes. So wow. Nice. Wow, this room is epic. Very, very impressive. Uh, one of the most unique hotel rooms we've ever stayed in, in terms of layout and design, I believe. Yeah, 100%. We're gonna give you a full Juicy Vlog room tour in just a second, but first, I have spotted something that I desperately need. Lucy, do you need one? I think we have to do the room tour first, George. Luke. We have to do the viewers justice. We have to do them, give them what they want. But I, what I want is a coffee, <laughs> and there's a coffee station in the room. Yeah, but that's part of the room tour. So if we do that first, you're giving away the room tour. All right. I'll make it quick. In that case, it's time for a Juicy Vlog room tour uncaffeinated version. Right, we walk in, we've got a lobby area, which is nice, good space to take your shoes off. Isn't it, Coda? It is a big Yes, exactly. <laughs> uh, then we walk through no, and... <laughs> we walk through, we've got the main bed area here. Coda's cot already set up, absolutely love that. Then we've got the huge bed just here, TV opposite, wardrobe space, luggage space. I really love having space for the luggage because we're moving around so quickly, we don't have time to, you need some help? Bring it here then. We don't really have time to unpack into wardrobe, so we leave our suitcases open, so having that extra space is super nice. So this is a suite, so technically it's like two rooms, but it's just divided by this one wall with a TV on each side, which like is very this. nice. And then we've got a sofa, load of seating, a little magazine rack. The decor is quite cool in here, it's a bit unusual. We've got a desk so we can be like editing vlogs and keeping up with stuff here. And then this is what George is talking about. Our literal like coffee cupboard unit thing. I've never seen, it's bizarre, I've never seen anything like this. Is it closed? Why would you want to close it? But does it open? Like I'm so confused by it, but you it's very cool. Little drawer. Oh. Is this like, this looks like something that a magician would have like a lady in and cut them in half. You know, that <laughs> kind of like thing where there's lots of different boxes that come out. But yeah, coffee machine, very important. Turn around, we've got the bathroom that Code is about to show you. Oh, firstly, the infinity mirrors. Oh yeah. So a huge mirror here and on the opposite wall as well. So it kind of looks like it goes on forever. So green here. Right, Coda, take it away. Can you show me what's in the bathroom? The bathroom. Bathroom, yeah. yeah. Are you in the shower? Yeah. Can you say shower? Bye-bye. Oh, bye-bye. Gonna close, all right. Ready, wipe your fingers. Shower. Open, here you go. Then we've got the toilet in here. Nice big sink area, a bath, which is always welcome because Cody loves a bath and it's nice being able to give him a bath and not have to give him a shower. Um, yeah, super nice actually. And, and like I said, it's an unusual shape. I love the shape of this room, it's just different. It's not just like your standard layout. It feels more like a villa, very nice. And that concludes the Juicy Vlog room tour. And it is now time to grab my coffee very quickly. Then we're gonna head out of the hotel and do some exploring. And then it is soon time to eat some delicious food. My favorite part of the day, my favorite part of these vlogs, see what the food in Singapore is saying and enjoy our first night here. Last trip to Singapore was 2018, which just feels like a lifetime ago. We have such good memories here, particularly this YouTube channel. We hit 50,000 subscribers. Thank you, darling. We hit a huge milestone for the channel and, uh, and for us. 50,000 subscribers, we hit that in Singapore and we celebrated on a rooftop. But like Lucy said, our previous stay was I think only around two nights. So we really, really didn't do it justice. We managed to try some street food. We managed to try some copy, which is very famous here. And we managed to explore a little bit, but this time we have longer. We're staying here in Sentosa Bay for a few days and then we're moving to the main area of Singapore. So plenty of exploring to come. We're just currently sat here at my desk, getting my emails done in pure luxury, may I say. I've had my double espresso and I feel like Singapore gives you that luxury edge. Everything so far, the smooth, clean airport, picked up in the Mercedes, straight into our suite. I just feel like everything is stepped up a notch in Singapore. We felt the same last time. We have ventured out and we've got to grab two Gardens by the Bay, which is this really cool place. Look at these things. 
It's amazing. This is like what you think of. It's one of the most popular things to come and do in Singapore. Everyone gets photos here. It's like very Instagrammable. They've got these huge trees that just look so cool. It's uh, pretty busy. It's raining slightly. See, I was look just. Baby cute. Look at oh, that's so cute. I was just saying how it's people so get funny. photos here. It's so cool though, isn't it? Yeah. Lucy and I came here once before, but that was five years ago, way before we had any children. And yeah, and now it's so nice to show him this kind of thing. So I think at night, especially if it's gonna get dark in the next hour or so maybe, it looks so cool at night. We actually have not been here in the day. Yeah, very cool to see it in the day. You see the greenery, it really stands out a little bit more. So it's been raining, so actually it's not very busy here. Which means it's not to ourselves by any means, but it's so much less busy than the last time we were here. I remember being here and it just being completely chock a block. Uh, I do need to go because my son's gone off. And I don't think I appreciated last time the epic view that you get here of Marina Bay Sands. I'll probably watch the vlog back and be like, Look at this epic view of Marina Bay Sands, but I don't think I saw it from this exact perspective before. It's quite, really, really epic, that view. Koda's made a little friend here. So cute. <laughs> Travelling with kids, this is actually a really good place. He's just been running around and we can just kind of follow him about. It's pretty safe and yeah, let him get a little bit of energy out before bed kind of the perfect place. I don't remember coming into these gardens last time. I think we literally came to the um, the famous tree things that we just went past, the statue light things, I don't know what you'd call them. Massive fancy street lamps, I suppose. And then we went round up to the top bit. Um, but I don't remember coming around any of the actual gardens. So it's really beautiful, loads of amazing plants, loads of mosquitoes, but it looks amazing. It's like some tropical jungle, it's beautiful. So big, yeah. <laughs> and it's called Big Fish Aquarium, so I guess that makes sense. Okay, we found the influencer Instagram spot. Wow. Or rather, these people here doing a photo shoot found it first. We're going to see if we can get a little shot of Lucy here for her page. Follow Lucy here on Instagram. and water. What? We did not do this justice last time. This no. is so us just coming in and like eating McDonald's and leaving in 2019. We, yeah, we did that, 18, didn't we? Yeah. We did not venture this far. Oh, no. I had no idea there was a beach here. Oh. It's even people like sunbathing, even though it's oh. so nice. The it looks like Hong Kong. Oh my goodness. Amazing. That is unbelievable. Oh, so beautiful. Please. Look at this. This is incredible. I did not expect to see a view like this tonight. There's not even that many, there's six people here. Hundreds, thousands of people over there. Six people here, this is the spot. And you wouldn't notice it unless you go off the beaten track a little bit. The what? The beaten track. Where is it? I'm not gonna tell you, you have to find it for yourselves. It's basically behind the children's garden, so find that to right the onto the beach part towards the water off the running walking path and you will find this gem. Do you like it? Can you see the palm trees? There's a tree. Beach. Beach. Also, everything you've seen us do in this video so far has been free. Other than the flight here, other than the hotel, other than the grab taxi to get here, and the food that keeps us going during the day, completely free. No entry. You can pay and go further in, which we've never done, but I don't know, I just feel like for what we like to do, to soak up the environment and see some cool stuff, we don't need to pay and go in. I, I could be wrong, like comment below if you've paid the entry fee and gone in further inside, is it worth it? Do let me know in the comments.
There's How... a seafood restaurant here as well. Oh. Tung, Tung Lock, and they've got an amazing view. That's so cool. It's, it's like, oh, I really just thought this was a garden, but not a garden, like an indoor garden with some lit up trees outside of it. But it seems to be like a little mini city within itself. It's just crazy. Thank you.